Before we continue with our Rogue project, I've gone ahead and made a few changes. If you remember our rogue.h file, we had everything in there. We had all our function declarations. We had all our structs. I mean, everything was in there. Well, no more. I've gone ahead and pulled pretty much everything out of that rogue.h. Really right now, that file can be thought of as a global file. Our C files will still include it so that they get access to our global variables. And we might add more global variables uh, in the near future. And then also the libraries. So the ncurses library and uh, whatever else we want to include. But no longer the massive scrolling header file. Instead, I've split it apart into other smaller header files, obviously show you we now have like a game.h, a door.h, a position.h. Position.h is just uh, just the position. It's just got the struct there. Uh, door.h, just the door. Game.h has, yeah, the struct and then some other functions. Same thing with level. Now I have I have shuffled a few of the functions around. So before I think move monsters was in uh, monster.c. Now it's in level.c because it's kind of the all the monsters for one level move. Um, obviously, I'm sure monster.h has a move monster. No, it doesn't have a move monster function, but oh well, it doesn't have a move monster function. Probably should. <laughs> um, and uh, same thing with player. I think a, a bunch of a bunch of their functions, a bu bunch of players' functions, got moved from player dot c to player to level dot c and um, things like that. So, yeah. So a bit of a, a change up. I didn't want you to have to watch me do it all. So I'm just kind of quickly explaining it instead of making you watch a 30 minute video. And this code that now exists uh, will, of course, be available on the GitHub. So you can, if you've been following along, you can just uh, download this and start using it. One other thing that I did was if we go to our make file here, a complaint I was getting from a lot of users uh, in the earlier videos, so hopefully some of them have stuck around, was errors showing up that I wasn't getting. And the reason why is I was being very lax with my, with, with some of my coding standards. So to fix that, I've added in, in this dash wall. So dash wall, uh, every time you compile with it, one more brick is built in the wall. That's why they call this the Trump flag. <laughs> so dash wall is, for w all so it's basically all warnings so i think a few of what would be warnings were turning into errors for other people on different compilers so and this will just enforce better coding standards so i added that in and that meant uh, if you check some of our functions they've gone from being int functions to void functions i think initially i said oh yeah like you should uh, declare your functions as being int because then you can return an error flag or something like that. But I mean, you're never ever going to be checking for an error flag. So this is just void says, Hey, like this function doesn't return anything. And you can just read that. And it makes sense as opposed to having all these ints. So I did, I did quite a bit of that. And I think there was a space variable that I wasn't using in one of the game loops that got deleted. So um, yeah, so those are the changes. Again, you can download all this code from the GitHub and hopefully, hopefully it was good to, to not show it all, just explain some of it. The reason why I decided to break up that rogue.h file at this point was because in the next video, I'd really like to start on the inventory. So that will, I mean, the weapon, there will be a weapon.h, there will be, yeah. So it seemed like a good time to, to finally split up that file that I've been talking about for quite a while. That's the current state of the project. 
Stay tuned for more.